Hey, Conum. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. I do have to say, and this is just related to your name kind of sounding like a prophylactic, but I don't mean that in an offensive way. Did you know that Trojan Magnums are the best-selling condom wow. in North America? Great chip, by the way. <laughs> hey, Fat Rat Flex, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. A fellow Magnum user, I see. <laughs> you know it would be a great experiment? To get Trojan to rename the Magnum to just Trojan Normal or something with Trojan, whatever, and then release a new Trojan Magnum that's like 25% bigger than the existing Magnum and then see if it eventually reestablishes itself as like the large, as the biggest seller. Hey, thank you, R2DP, for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you, thank you. I must be doing something right. I did everything wrong and they supported me. Can I just say to, to Justin's credit, I was going to say in his defense, but everybody laughed at the time as well. Hey, AirPod Slime. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. You know what? It, yeah, this is why I should play more golf. You're absolutely right, Jay, because golf appeals to uh, the upper quintile of earners. We're getting a lot of uh, white collar professionals, senior executive level individuals that are like, holy cow, I finally understand Twitch. It's like you ever watch, if you watch hockey on TV, all the ads are like beer, pizza, Toyota. If you ever watch golf on TV, the ads are like Mercedes, uh, golf items, and like luxury real estate and stuff like that. Rolex, exactly. Hey, Chiago, thank you as well. Thank you. You Watanabe, <laughs> librarian, thank you. Thank you, much appreciated. Thank you. We're getting all the HVAC small business owners. Oh, you mean uh, real certifiable patriots? All right, Sasper, thank you as well. Everyone else stop, okay? No more. I got I to generate some banter, okay? Thank you, thank you. Blue collar workers that you despise? Excuse me, you've got me like so backwards. I respect them because I don't think I can do what they do. All I'm saying and all I have ever said is that the duties of being a plumber don't seem that hard. I'm not saying the job isn't hard because like every day you got to do it. You, you've got unpredictable hours. You got, you're on call. You're elbow deep in shit. You're bent over all day. But I'm just saying... Like the dude who replaced Justin's washing machine. Like at the end, I'm not saying he didn't provide a valuable service. I'm just saying it wasn't that hard, right? Dude shined a flashlight at the back and was like, this dude obviously doesn't know what's going on here. If he did, he could just go to the Home Depot and fix, him, fix it himself in under an hour. But guess what? I got the part in my truck. I'm just, are there any plumbers in chat that can tell me I'm wrong? If you're like a, a web developer who lives in Austin, Texas, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about at the same level that I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me get some plumbers here to actually, you know, set the record straight. I'm a plumber and you're right. I don't believe you. I, I simply don't believe you. Let's see what happens here. I went to a mechanic and they quoted me $500 for parts and $1,000 for labor. I went to the auto parts store, bought the part myself for $10 and did it. Lol. Listen, I think you're well within your rights. But at the same time, I don't think that they were trying to scam you. Maybe they were trying to scam you a little bit. But like at all, anytime you pay somebody else to fix something for you, it's always gonna cost like an order of magnitude more than it would cost to fix it yourself. Like your ass didn't wanna fix it yourself, that's why you called somebody. They don't wanna fix your car either. That's why they're charging you, you know, what the market will bear. I installed the windows in my house and saved like seven grand. Like that's crazy. I, I, am, I support this, I'm also just saying, I would, me personally, if there's ever a quote where I'm like, I'm not going to pay that, I'm not like, oh, I'm getting scammed. I'm like, oh, that's just too much money for me to value the service. Like, if I'm going to do it myself, I'm, I'm probably not going to do it myself. <laughs> 
imagine know. doing things yourself? Well, I don't know, like, I just... Chat's not gonna like this, because they're the only people who can call people in their 20s and 30s boomers that disagree with them. But I feel like doing things yourself is admirable, but looking down on people for not doing things themselves is very boomer-coded. Like, everybody that works is in a business, and most businesses... Maybe not most, I'd have to check the data on that one. But many businesses provide a service that somebody could do for themselves or alternatively go without. So the idea that like, oh, you should never, you know, go to a mechanic, just do all the fixes yourself. I get it. But at the same time, maybe, you know, you should never use Geek Squad either, Grandpa. You know, maybe. So you, you always pay a convenience charge to, to do a service that you don't want to do yourself. And whenever people... By, sorry, I, I meant I talked too long. The gifted subscriptions got purged from the chat. I meant to say thank you, Wafa88. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, that's the thing is people will say like, um, you, see, you always see it online, you know? People are like, I, I haven't been to a restaurant in like four years. And you're like, okay. Like, what do you want me to say? Congratulations. Like everybody knows, some, they, they write it as if it's like a revelation. I can't believe that people would go to a restaurant. Do you know it's cheaper to buy food from the grocery store and cook it yourself? Yeah, of course. Did you know it's cheaper to steal vegetable seeds from the Canadian Tire, plant them in a garden, wait for the vegetables to grow, and then harvest them yourselves and then cook them? Of course, but like at some point you have to choose the kind of life you want to live. And maybe you get, oh, I'm crazy! Depending on your circumstances, maybe it's a necessity or maybe you derive some self-esteem from or your identity from not paying for services that you feel like you could do yourself. And I, I, I think that's fine. But always looking down at people that are like, go to a restaurant or pay somebody to do their oil change or something like that is, I don't know. I think you should get a life. Not that anybody in chat was doing that. Hey, Rare STG, thank you for the... Gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. Thank you. Like, for example, if you can't entertain yourself, you could just buy gifted subscriptions for me so I can entertain you. See? It's like, it's the way of the world. Why is every male streamer so handyman inept? Why is it that it's okay for you to say this guy is bad at doing things, but it's not okay for me to say it's a better use of my resources to give money to someone to get time back for myself? I could have phrased that in a, in a less nice way as well, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Whenever someone's like, the streamer is dumb and inept, people are like, so true, so true. Whenever the streamer is like, you know, I'd rather pay somebody to do my oil change because that 30 minutes of my time is uh, more valuable to me than the price of the oil change. People are like, out of touch, out of touch. I'm just trying to get along, man. I'm just trying to make friends. Streamers will be like, I'm getting my oil changed right now. And then a thousand people will go off on them. You make fun of streamers for using DoorDash though? Yes, I, like everybody else, I'm a hypocrite. But usually I don't necessarily, it's not that I make fun of streamers for using DoorDash, is I make fun of streamers for saying, hang on, my DoorDash is here, when they're streaming, which is very funny to me. Why is it funny? I don't know, I haven't teased that apart yet. Same thing. You know the one that gets me? This is like the, the one where you lose me. Twice a year, I get my winter tires changed to summer tires or like all seasons and vice versa. The oil change, I understand. With a little bit of elbow grease, I could easily do it myself. The tires, it drives me crazy. People are like, why don't you just make friends with somebody that has a jack? Drive it over to their garage, jack it up, and then you and this dude with a couple of torque wrenches, you could change your... Because I don't... Like, listen, could I do it with practice and if somebody taught me? Yes. At the same time, I don't want to be driving on the Sea to Sky Highway and, like, my front right tire pops off and my car flips over a hundred times down a mountain and submerges my family in the Pacific Ocean, you know? I'm like... <laughs> You could do it, jacks are cheap. Yeah, but like, you don't want to hear this, but I'm going to say it. In a relative sense, getting the tires changed is cheap as well. The most expensive part of it is me having to watch two episodes of The Family Feud in their waiting room. Sometimes they don't even have The Family Feud on. That's even worse. They, do, they have that show on HGTV where like a dude 
builds people like artisan tree houses. And that's where I'm like, could you change the tires a little faster? I will say, though, they did get me one time. Usually when I go, they're like, do you want to get your tires aligned as well? Wait, no, is it aligned or rotated? I can't remember. Because I don't know what I'm talking about anyway. <laughs> to the end of the day. What, one of those two. Which one of those is more, which one of those is often offered free and which one of those is usually an upcharge? Rotated is usually free, aligned is usually more expensive. Rotate is often expensive, alignment is usually free. What the hell? Okay, alignment is usually about a hundred bucks, rotation is usually free. All right, all right, all right. So here's, here's how it went down. Every time I go get my tires changed, they go, do you want an alignment? And then I, four times out of five, I say no. And then this time I said, you know what? I haven't had it done for like four years or something like that. Why don't you go ahead and do an alignment? I thought that it would be like $40. And then when I got the invoice, it was like a, an extra $100 charge. And I was like, you can just do that? Just to, I, all I did was, you asked me a question, I said yes, and now I have to pay you money. I don't even have to sign like a contract or anything like that. Meanwhile, anytime a video game changes anything, I've got to hit the A button 17 times and pretend to have read like 14 legal agreements. We've updated our privacy policy because there was a class action lawsuit related to V-Bucks and yes, 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 just let me buy Bender, bro. My store is going to rotate soon. But at the store, you could just be like, hey, do you, want, do you want a service? Yeah, give me money. What the hell? <laughs> it does, hardly seems fair. Just because I told you to do something and you did it, now I have to pay you currency? I don't know about that. Gotta catch a hunker, a grouper, or a tuna. Gotta catch a hunker, a haddock, or a cod. Gotta catch a hunker, albacore. What the hell, man? How did I get nothing from the sea? Now we gotta switch it up slightly. Don't remember how does the tune go during this part? Oh, Jesus.